Hi there. In this presentation, I will be showing how to display data in the database using TimeLeaf. The, the objective of this presentation is clear, which is to show you how to display data uh, using TimeLeaf. But of course, um, along the way, you will also um, learn to um, add and configure a database for Spring Boot. Also, you will be uh, shown how to load initial data to be displayed into the database. This is applicable both in the MVC ar architecture as well as the REST architecture. And of course, you will also learn how to create a time lift table and then use the iteration to display data. To save any data in this application, we need a database. And to install a database, we need a database driver. So to, in order to get a database driver, we go to the Maven repository at this URL. And then we do a search for the database that we're going to use. In this case, we're going to use H2. And the H2 database engine is shown here. We select the latest version and copy the dependency tag. After copying the dependency tag, we go to the ID that contains the application we're working on and access the POM file. And then we paste the uh, dependency tag containing the database driver into it, as shown here. The other file that we need to configure is the application.properties. In here, we configure the database driver as shown here. And if we intend to access the console uh, via the web, via a browser, we may want to configure the username as well as the password as shown here. This is purely optional. And then to enable this console, we need to add this as shown here. And finally, the database needs a dialect. And this is shown as configured here. In this application, we have created a repository package. And in the repository package, we have a product repository .java, um, file. Now this file contains the JPA repository. Um, this file is an interface. And being an interface that extends the JPA repository, gives access to many methods that is needed to work with the uh, product entity uh, of IDE of type long. In this application, we have the service package. This is the business layer of the application. Under it, we have the product service file, and in it, we've defined the business logic methods of the application. And for the implementation of these business methods, we've used a product service implementation file, which has implemented the product service. And as you can see, the return value of this implementation um, methods, implemented methods are uh, the product uh, repository 
uh, methods that we've spoken about earlier. To display products in the database, we need to access a method in the service layer. In order to do this, we inject an object of the product service into the controller file as shown here. using the auto wire annotation on top of it. We need to create a method to use the product service object that we've injected. This method is called get products. The model parameter you can see here is actually time leaf uh, views. So there's a model parameter entered here. And we use the product service object we imported earlier and call it on the find all products, which was defined in the service layer. So we call the product object onto the find all products method and then bind it to an attribute called products. And then using the uh, model, which basically is the time leaf view, we add an attribute, which we've created called products. We add an attribute here and then bind it to this string. This string will appear on the page to be rendered. And it will have a return value here, which relates to the page to be rendered. We need to get some data into the database so that it can be displayed. There are many ways of doing this. One way is to create a data.sql file. And this is the content of it. It's, it was really a simple SQL command, which says insert into product. Product is the table in the database. And of course, we've got all the values here. So this is just a simple data SQL file. Please place the data.sql file under the resources folder so that when the application is started, the data.sql file will be picked up and all records in it will be saved into the database. We need a page to display the products. So we create a page called product.html and place it under the templates folder. Here, the, it will be automatically picked up by Spring Boot. The template uh, page is as shown here. And in the first line, you have the standard HTML5 tag. The second line shows the time leave namespace and the meta tag is for the encoding now create within this file a a table and use an iterator the th colon each is an iterator that you can use within time leave and use it on the attribute the products attribute that was created within the get all products uh, method that was created earlier. To run the application, do a right click on the main application and go to, and go to run as Java application. 
So the application will start and run. The application is starting up. The application is starting up. As you can see, the application has started up. And you can reach it on port 5000. To view the application, go to localhost at port 5000. And as you can see, you, the records are, are all displayed here. And these records were saved into the database earlier on. Thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe to our channel.